FNCS finals is at the weekend, so who do I think is going to take the crown, take the glory, and most importantly, come in the second, third, fourth, and fifth places on the major regions? Make sure you drop a like on the video for the algorithm, and thank you to Turtle Yeet for being a positive member of the JKC community. Let's go. Let's start with our EU list, and then we'll move on to our NA list. So for EU, I have some honourable mentions before we start. I think Robin and Axe Force will do pretty well. They're coming out of a drop at the top of the map. I think it's the yacht. Likewise, Vico and Pink are actually contesting the mountainous areas. There is a ton of loot there, and they're only contested by one of the teams. They could potentially do pretty well as well. Finally, Swizzy and Putrid are uncontested at one of the like, train stations, which I think they can definitely pull something out of. I haven't got them in my top five, but all of these guys are probably pretty close. So who's actually in my top five? Fifth is kind of a pick that I'm guilty of and is a pick that I'm not sure how it'll turn out but it could happen. This is Mongrel and Mr. Savage. Now this is a fan favourite team and a personal favourite of mine definitely. They are currently landing this kind of train station type factory place in the middle of nowhere but it has quite good loot and I think they could potentially pull me out the back. They've been on form recently and I have very very high hopes. Call me delusional, I don't care. When they're at the top of the leaderboards you're all going to be feeling stupid. In fourth place, I had Queasy and Thomas HD. They're contested by Noms and Cringe, but they're absolutely the better team out of this drop, and if they win their off-spawn battles, they are a team to be reckoned with. Queasy's one of the best IGLs in the entire world, and Thomas HD has the fragging mentalities of a genius. You don't get past this team if they make it off-spawn, and they're going to be a team to be reckoned with 100%. In number three, I reckon we're going to have Vasc and Hen. I was concerned of Queasy and Thomas HD and Vasc and Hen, they were kind of like back and forth for me, but I do think that Hen has the kind of clutching mentalities that everyone wants. They say Thomas HD is the best clutcher in the world, but Hen has pulled off some pretty amazing stuff in his time as well. And with Vasc as his teammate, they're going to be pretty much unstoppable at their uncontested drop. This is why I put them slightly higher. The uncontestedness means that they're going to get off spawn pretty much all the games, compared to Queasy and Thomas who might go off spawn once or twice. Top two teams are going to be pretty self-explanatory. In second, I think we are going to have Kami and Seti. They are uncontested at the bottom of the map, but that's not a problem for them because they have the rotations of people with brains four times the size of ours. Seti is one of the best IGLs in the world and Kami is one of the best fraggers in the world, making this duo unstoppable. They're consistent geniuses and they have actually been placing very highly for years and years and years now, building consistency so we can count on them to make at least a top 10. Being a contested helps as well. So who I think will win EU FNCS is Tayson and Vino. Tayson being one of the best IGLs in the world, arguably the best in the EU, and Vino being one of the best fighters slash fraggers. They are landing a drop that has a medallion, so that is a big buff for them. They are going to have that auto shotgun that is of mythic rarity, of mythical status, that burns through players. And with all that going for them, having it uncontested, hopefully, because for the big event, they should be able to take this away, even above Kami and Seti's consistency. The medallion and auto are probably going to help in that situation. But that was EU, and now we should move on to NA East. I'd like to remind you that I'm pretty much updating my red versus blue map weekly, and it is one of the funnest maps out there. Go play it, it would mean the world to me. Go check it out, and let's move on to NA. So a couple of interesting storylines here. Jiven has actually qualified FNCS Grand Finals. I personally am super proud of him, and he's playing with Piggle, a player he used to play on console. In terms of people who didn't make my top five, are very good teams we have clicks and epic whale a massive one right there sphinx and pump pumps one of the best controller players in the world and sphinx is a goat and day and redux i put them in because day is a very well-known name and he's uncontested so it's a possible route to success in terms of who i put in my top five however in fifth ages in canada they are landing kind of like a north east kind of drop and they're uncontested there's no one that near them apart from day and redux and they have a possible storm surge opportunities because people are contesting the yacht area. 
The same yacht area that was uncontested by Robin and Axe Force on EU. In fourth, this is going to be a rough one, Cooper and Miro. They're contesting that yacht area against Vortexa and Sigma and Centauro and Vic. I do recognize some of these names, but Cooper and Miro are the best team there. Even being contested two ways, I think they can still pull something out of this tournament. Miro is quite possibly one of the best IGLs in the entire world, and he can frag too. Cooper is likewise a crazy, crazy player. Player. If you've seen Cooper play, you know what I'm talking about. You don't doubt these guys, trust me. In third place on NA Central, I think Booger and Aviv will win it out for, for the third place position. They're currently landing at a very similar spot, if not the same spot, to Seti and Kami. It is quite a spot with good loot. And for a team like Booga and Aviv, a very, very experienced team, this is going to be a piece of cake. They just have to rotate upwards throughout the map. And Booga just needs to be Booga. And he needs to do what Booga does best. Win this thing out. As a point, I forgot to mention it, but Miro and Cooper also won one of the FNCS semi-final rounds, making it even more likely that they're going to have a good placement here. In second, we have Yomzo and Rise, a very, very consistent team. They're landing kind of a not a great split, but is that in the middle of the map, giving them good positioning and good surge opportunities against Bryson Chubbs and Seek and Dash, contesting the area just to the right of them, and Bacon TK and Penn and Mason competing to contest the area above them, and Paper and Murs and Acorn and Cold compete in the area below them. These are all really good players around them, all recognisable names 100%, but they have the positioning, they have the uncontested drop. It's just going to be a shame if one of the teams from around them goes into the middle. But we know that Yomzo and Rise are some of the most consistent players in the world, so that's fine. In first place, no surprise to anyone, I think we're going to have Rituals and Reaped. They're kind of uncontested at the bottom of Reckless Railways. They're taking most of the POI here and the part below it, meaning that they're going to have an absolute ton of loot, plus the Mythic Hyper SMG and a medallion. Rituals and Reek were first on the consistency point leaderboard, can be first and fifth in both the week one and twos, meaning they're in a solid, solid position to take this out. They're also kind of in the middle of the map being at Reckless Railways, meaning wherever the zone pulls, they're not going to have a particularly terrible rotate to do. There are a lot of good teams in NA this season, but I think that Rituals and Reek are in a very, very good position to win it, and that's who I'd put my money on. If you want to learn how to be like the pros and become a pro in 2024, watch this video right here, because it is a banger. Or you could watch this video right here, because it is also a banger, and it's going to teach you the best 40 moves to become good on controller like Reed. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.